How could the Canucks keep two number one goaltenders happy with just one net? But somehow, Roberto Luongo and Corey Schneider are coexisting perfectly. Getting along great, being total pros. Or so we thought. It's one of the feel-good hockey stories of the season. Roberto Luongo and Corey Schneider. All right, smile, guys, smile. Two star goalies who have put smile. egos aside for the good of the team. All right, number one. See you, number one. We get along great. Nobody cares who's number one. We're not petty like that. Hey, Lou, you got a six-letter word? Clue is opposite of to move forward. Back up. Yeah, that fits. Roberto's just such a generous guy. He doesn't even care about this whole who's number one, who's number two thing. It's nice. Hey, yeah. thanks, man. Oh, thanks, bud. I really appreciate that. It's um, really nice of you, I guess. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? The media blows this number one, number two thing out of proportion. It's irrelevant to us. Go ahead. No, you go first, man. No, no, no. I insist. Go ahead. Okay. Come on! At the beginning of the season, people said, how could two ultra-competitive guys who want to be in the net every night coexist? But they've made it work, showing a level of maturity and professionalism seldom seen these days. Number two? Nope, number one. You guys just seem like such good pals. Corey, you must have loved it when Roberto did his poetry. People just ate that up. Human eclipse, rhinoceros hips. Who will laugh last when I slash your calf? Bring me peace, make it cease. Get your big ass out of my crease. Yeah, that was great. I mean, he's just so talented and funny. <laughs> that should have been me. I would have been so awesomer. Louie, Louie, fooey, fooey. There's a reason Corey rhymes with glory and Lou rhymes with number two. Shines. Huh? You okay, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I was just thinking about the six eight he made the other night. Okay. And Roberto, it must be great for you to have someone you get along with after that horrific incident in Florida when Jamie McLennan was jealous and ran you over with a Zamboni. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, man, that was a really difficult time for me, but Schneids and I, were, we're like brothers. Brothers, brothers, brothers. A uh, little help here. Could use a trainer. Looks like Lewis starting the night. We've done some ridiculous <laughs> things in our time at the NHL on TSN. That may be an all-timer. Upper body injury to Schneider, by the way, but as you can see, uh, he is... So you know what? Those guys is, are real good sports. He is dressed in it. Yeah, we, we thank Corey and Roberto and the Canucks for their time and for their uh, twisted senses of humor. As we go to break, we thought you'd like to see a couple of the outtakes from that bit. That really hurt, buddy. I know, sorry. <laughs> really the media blows who's number one, number two. <laughs> the number media one. blows, that's it. That's all. <laughs> the media blows who's number one. <laughs> sorry. So I stop before the camera or yeah, just drive by? Oh, <laughs> All we want, guys, could you get... 